I think they've done a really wonderful job. Um, you know, I loved the fall collection. I loved the big nips. Um, I thought the, the gray harem pants was amazing. This is my first time at the show this season, so I'm really, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. The look at Pringle, it's kind of slightly hard. I've been saying tough all week, um, and maybe it's a kind of a word of the week. Um, a lot of toughness and you know making these girls feel a little bit tougher and a bit more boyish. Still taking the same kind of references that I've been talking about all week, which is early Helmut Lang, you know, Kate Moss when she was very young, um, all those kind of original, um, original kind of grunge and minimal references for hair. So very simple, you know, easy hair. It's down, it's got a kind of slightly off-center parting, it's very straight, almost kind of like a, you know, a boys' school parting, a young boys' school parting, it's very kind of straight and rigid and, you know, very kind of stiff looking. You know, the whole idea is that it should be very believable, it won't you know, walk down the catwalk, it's not going to feel worked or tried, it's almost, you know, the hair is like that. It's very beautiful, we're sort of calling it digitized skin, where it's perfected but glowing, with these wonderful kind of high, dewy highlights on top of the cheekbones. The designer actually showed me pictures of a Peter Lindbergh photograph, so it's like a shadow, of like a black and white kind of shadow, so it's a wonderful mix of creams in chocolate brown and an Air Force blue grey. And then the eyebrows are very groomed, very brushed up, slightly filled in, to, look at the boat, to give you a very handsome, you know, a la Brooke Shields, handsome brow. It's quite a handsome look, actually. I was looking at something that was um, both a mix of kind of Scottish heritage but also then something really modern and there was for me in the silhouette a mix of two sides of a woman's wardrobe so this sort of frivolous nature which comes through in fringing and feathers and then this really sort of pure quite chic like pared down silhouette which I felt was also something that I wear every day but sometimes I like something fun too. It's always been a cashmere brand, so um, I love how they've kind of, they're bringing it up a notch. The embroidery really came as an idea of taking the concept of knitwear, so cables and all these diamond textures, and then bringing them actually into dresses and skirts and kilts and putting it on organza made it really transparent and light so you didn't get this heavy cable -y effect. And then for me, kind of taking the um, idea of the old crochet techniques and then making them into this super light fringe that had a lot of fun and was very shaggy, was something kind of was quite an interesting mix against this sort of quite pared down feeling.
we love the shoes. The feathers, it, that kind of came from this, um, I had this beautiful image of, walk, of a girl walking through sand dunes and all the grasses. And it's that, I, you know, I do it when, if I'm at the beach and you go barefoot and they all get stuck in your toes. And so I just thought, oh, it'd be so lovely, this idea of kind of this feathery thing at your feet. And um, I love that kind of connection. It felt really interesting. Pringle has moments all the time. I mean, there are icon pieces that I think from each collection you could say, and even when I go back into the, the archive and the heritage that the brand has now, every year there's been something that's been interesting, so maybe there's one for the future now. And is there a single woman? Oh, she's, I mean, she's a British girl, but she's very laid back and she's got her own sense of independence. She's really sure of herself, but she also likes to have fun too.